I think I'm going to go check my neck and make sure I haven't been bitten. In the meantime, here's some video game news, views, and things that are cool. In today's gaming news, views, and things that are cool, one of classic gamers' most loved arcade games, Donkey Kong, has a new homebrew available online. Now check this out. Carl Mueller Jr. has brought us an unfinished, near-arcade-perfect port of Donkey Kong that can be played on Intellivision emulators. Now you can find this uh, emulator on one of Intellivision Live CDs or even online. Now when asked about his homebrew, Carl responded by saying this. For my first Intellivision game, I decided to see if I could make a version of Donkey Kong superior to the one released by Coleco in 1982. In order to make the transition as faithful as possible, I reverse engineered the arcade's ROM. Now you can download the game at Carl's resume page. Absolutely. So do you remember like, you know, back in the 80s when Donkey Kong came out, arcades were extremely hot, begging your mom for quarters, <laughs> running down to your local pizza parlor and just getting down like on some Donkey Kong? Yeah, that was an awesome time. That's Absolutely. a cool game. And uh, for you uh, new age gamers that don't know, like that's where the phrase, it's on like Donkey, Donkey Kong, Kong comes Like Donkey from. Kong. That's right, <laughs> from old school arcade game. Exciting news for iPod owners and fans of the show. Video Game Trader TV is now available online to download through iTunes. We also offer updates via RSS feeds so you don't miss a single episode. Details will be placed on the Video Game Trader TV page of the Video Game Trader website. So that means I can have it whenever I want, when it, wherever I want. Oh, absolutely. Just bust out your iPod and <laughs> bam, getting classic video game goodness. Video Game Trader TV, right here. <laughs> well, listen up, all you arcade and classic game collectors. Be sure to be marking your calendars for May 23rd of this year for Cleveland's Console and Arcade Gaming Show. This is going on in Fairview Park, Ohio. Now, make sure you save your money and bring your games to trade to this one. You don't want to miss it. The show's in its ninth year. It only costs a buck to get in. So to check out the show and even to register for it, go online to ccagshow.com. This is a show you all don't want to miss. Uh, anytime you get out to these events, it's great. Um, I'm a part of the Classic Gaming Expo, and I can tell you it's a great experience. I mean, you get the swap meets. You get all the classic game designers roaming around that you get to actually meet and greet. Uh, you'll be amazed at the stuff you'll find with other classic gamers that you can trade. Uh, the auctions are awesome. Uh, these shows are definitely worth attending um, for hardcore collectors. That's going to be cool. Absolutely. To tie into the highly anticipated Street Fighter 4, a new video game based movie, Street Fighter The Legend of Chun-Li, will sonic boom its way into theaters on February 27th. As a treat, here is the movie trailer. In life, there is beauty and there is terror. One must not overwhelm the other. To embrace both, you'll need the strength of a warrior. The stealth of a predator. And the wisdom of a master. Once you have found your power, you must decide what you fight for. Also, be sure not to miss the new animated series from Eagle One. First up in the series based off the Street Fighter comic books is Street Fighter Round One Fight, which hits store shelves on February 3rd. That's going to be cool. Absolutely. I'm excited for that. So playing Street Fighter, um, I, would, I would assume Cammy and Chun-Li, those were like yeah. your two favorite kick-ass characters to play as, the girls. <laughs> those are the only ones to go with. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's why they need to make more girl characters in games, so we have a better variety to choose from. I agree. Could always For use all more those video. girl gamers. Yeah, we could always use more female video game characters. That's right. All right, for more news, views, and things that are cool, check out issue 10 of Video Game Trader Magazine, available now.
ever wanted to learn more about your favorite video game characters? Well, now you can with our video game character database. On today's episode, we're taking a look at the ass-kicking, cigar-chomping, bubblegum-chewing ladies' man himself, Duke Nukem. Shake it, baby. Pop quiz, hot shot. Who sports a red tank top, blue jeans, a blonde crew cut, black shades, a cigar clutched between his teeth, a bad attitude, a penchant for kicking some serious alien ass, and gets all the babes? Well, it's none other than Duke Nukem, of course. Duke is the ultimate bad boy and proud of it. When he is not at his favorite strip club, Bootylicious, tossing money at gorgeous strippers while asking them to shake it, baby. He's out saving the planet and all our beautiful women from the evil alien intruders that have enslaved them. Equipped to the teeth with a kick-ass arsenal including a shrink gun, pistols, and rocket launchers to name a few. Duke has every weapon for the job. Duke has duked it out, no pun intended, against several adversaries including Dr. Proton, Pig Cops, Octobrain, and many more enemies that are hell-brent on killing the king. While Duke was returning home from defeating Dr. Proton in space, he finds that planet Earth has been overrun by aliens as he is shot down from the sky. Not a good move. So it goes, Duke Nukem has become the savior of our planet and most certainly our babes. So I only have one question. If the aliens make our human race extinct and all the babes have been saved by Duke, who's going to repopulate the Earth? Duke Nukem has been featured in the following adventures. If you can't get enough Duke Nukem action, be sure to check out our History of Duke Nukem article available now in issue 10 of Video Game Trader Magazine. We have to take a short commercial break, but when we return, we're getting our fight on with Street Fighter 4, plus we take a look at the awesome hidden gem Trampoline Terra for the Sega Genesis, and get ready to start dreaming of falling puzzle pieces all over again with Puzzle Piece Panic for the Odyssey 2. All this and much more right here on Video Game Trader TV. <laughs> If you had jalapenos and beans for every meal, you'd have an atomic butt blast, too. Booger Man for Sega Genesis. Hey, boogers aren't his only weapon. Wasn't me! So you created Atlantis for Imagine. I was at Atlantis. The skies above the underwater city filled with Gorgon attack vessels. Three sentry posts fought desperately, but they were no match for the Gorgon death ray. But you're here. I thought the Gorgons destroyed everybody at Atlantis. Ah! We did! Ah! Atlantis by Imagic is for Atari and in television systems. Now, on your breakfast table, Donkey Kong Grand Cereal. Crunchy bears of fun for breakfast. Donkey Kong, a Donkey Kong Cereal. The sweet, crunchy corn taste will drive you ape. You love the crunch. 
Donkey Kong. Help! Donkey Kong cereal. Crunchy barrels of fun. Foreign breakfast. It's part of this complete breakfast. A Donkey Kong cereal. You love the crunch. Welcome back to Video Game Trader TV. I'm your host, Jim Combs. And I'm Rachel Weinstein. So it's one of the most highly anticipated fighting games of all time, Street Fighter IV. It's due to hit shelves on February 17th, and we're so excited here at Video Game Trader TV that we just had to dedicate our entire feature segment to this breathtaking game.